Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another project. We're going to make this patriotic serving tray using redesign with Prima decor transfers and paint. So I'm using a Klingon brush and I'm using Paint Couture Paint in Gustave. And I got this round um, 17 inch board from Home Depot. And I'm just painting over the whole surface using the Paint Couture paint. Paint Couture paint is kind of like, um, it's a cross, I think, between a milk paint and a chalk paint. It's, um, it's actually acrylic paint with uh, resin in it. And it's got a self-leveling, um, really nice hard finish to it when it's dry um, and comes in all kinds of awesome colors. But it's a, it's a really nice product um, if you don't want to use chalk paint. And um, so this is, this is what I used almost exclusively. And of course, the Klingon brushes are pretty much the best brushes on the market. Um, so I use these for not only furniture, but also for all of my small projects as well. So I've covered that whole surface. Um, I've actually painted it twice. And now I'm going to glaze it um, with Paint Couture Black Chiffon. So you can see this process. Um, now, I actually let, I did two coats of the paint and I let it completely dry overnight before glazing. And so you apply that on with a foam applicator and then you're just going to take a paper towel or soft cloth and uh, wipe it off really doesn't get any easier than that it's an easy product to use and so I've got a textured um, distressed finish and I'm letting that dry overnight as well and now I'm ready to apply my transfer this is a redesign with Prima transfer um, I think the style is called patriotic there are four designs and as you can see, these are kind of adhesive um, and they're rub-ons. So you apply it to the surface that you want it to adhere to and you use the little stick that's provided. And what I do is as I'm rubbing, I take the plastic and I start to peel away while I'm, while I'm rubbing. If you try to do this all at once, you're going to end up with... Um, spots where it just doesn't lay down so this way you can see if you do it a section at a time you can see if it's sticking to the backing or not as you're completing the project and again you need to do this um, once your paint and any glaze is completely dry so at least 24 hours um, otherwise you risk pulling up paint as you're doing your transfer. So we carry these in a lot of different designs, try to keep them all fully stocked. This is a 4th of July project that we decided to do to, um, to put in our booth at Westside Market. Westside Market is in Midtown, Atlanta. And um, stop by and see us, we're booth number 406. So we have some little home decor items um, that we make ourselves. My partner paints furniture. Um, also starting a booth at Queen of Hearts in Marietta. So look for us there. We'll be on Court Street. And uh, of course I sell these um, redesign transfers on my website fthdecoratl.com along with the paint and the paint brushes. So once that's fully adhered you take a soft cloth and you do what's called burnishing and that just means you know you might have a little air pocket underneath there that just means you're you're rubbing every everything down to make sure that it's fully adhered to the surface and it's a gentle motion 
not too hard because you don't want to rub off the, the transfer. And these are really adaptable. You can cut them out and use them in any design layout that you want. Now I'm just going to gently sand in areas. I'm not sanding the whole transfer. Um, I'm just kind of sanding the edges to get rid of a little bit of the, um, the outline, the halo, um, which is kind of the clear part that you might see on the transfer, and just distressing up my tray a little bit as well. So it's a gentle sanding. And I'm making sure all the dust is removed. And now I'm going to use a top coat. I like general finishes, flat out flat. And you can just use a flat uh, wash brush for this or a foam brush. And um, two coats letting dry fully in between is optimal for a project like this. You can lightly sand in between the coats as well. And so once you've got your top coat applied, now it's time to apply the handles. I got these little farmhouse handles on Etsy. And I'm um, just going to screw those in. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is a fun project you can do just in a um, few hours at a time or few minutes at a time really you know the, the lo longest part is letting the project dry and there you have it happy fourth everybody